What's up everybody, it's your boy Insane Applejacks from the Atomic Game Squad once again and I just got back from the midnight release of Bioshock Infinite, 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 Infinite. So the way I plan to do this is breaking it into two different videos. One will be a box opening while the second one will be a show off of what I got from the midnight release like as far as we played like a trivia game of Bioshock information. So I'll show you all the posters and stuff I got. So going into it real quick, Bioshock Infinite is the third in the series which takes place in 1912 in the city, the airborne city of Columbia. You play as a protagonist known as Booker D. White. Booker D. White. Can you dig it, sucker? So, getting right into the, the stuff that came in. Yes, the stuff. I had to already open the box because you had to attach the wings to the songbird statue. But anyways, what comes in the box is the 9.75 inch songbird statue. Uh, a liftogram of the Devil's Kiss. The, a voucher for the soundtrack, a voucher for a PS3 theme, a voucher for an upgrade pack, and a limited edition art book, a handyman figurine, a key chain from the murder of crows, and finally the limited edition art book. So jumping right into things. Out of the vote, out of the vouchers, this is the upgrade pack voucher. This is the soundtrack voucher, and finally, the Bioshock theme voucher. Next up, very nicely wrapped is the. With the gram of the Devil's Kiss. Now you can see that it has a very nice Columbia seal. So I'll just remove that very lightly. And here we go. The with the gram of the Devil's Kiss. And you best believe that it will begin framed. If you're wondering why I'm doing everything like this, it's because I've had to do this video three times already, thanks to YouTube, once again. Well, not thanks to YouTube, uh, thanks, it's kind of both parts because YouTube kept losing the signal from my webcam, so, yeah. Uh, this is the limited edition. Uh, not the limited edition. This is the art book for Bioshock Infinite, which is basically a passport to the city of Columbia. And it's pretty cool. Standard. It has uh, some dirt and grime rubbed into its surface, the fabric. And it's pretty nice. I'm only hoping that it's not one of those. Since it's one of the smaller ones, the binding isn't uh, weak. Because that's usually how the smaller ones play out. This is the game itself, and the game itself is rated M. It works with the PlayStation Move system. So if you own that and you're just one of those person, one of those people, I must play everything with the PlayStation Move. Get excited. <laughs> one of those persons. Also, it. Uh, I don't know if this is just for the Songbird edition, but uh, it has. It comes with the original Bioshock. I don't know what, how they felt about the first one, I mean about the second one, and why it's not included, or if it is included, but yeah. And I just can't really wait to jump into the game because already it's gotten such high scores and expectations, like ING gave it a 9.4, I believe, and Metacritic, I think they gave it a 96. So, 
yeah, it just seems so promising right now. This is the handyman statue. It's pretty small. One, yes, that is what she said. It's one of the smallest uh, pieces of game memorabilia that I own in my collection right now. So I'm just hoping that they re-release them in like a bigger action figure size or something like that. This is the Murder of Crows keychain. A keychain so epic it makes me want to go and get some keys to put on the keychain. Because I don't carry my keys like that. So, just something. I'll also be going into the guide real quick, you know, since I also pick up the collector's edition guide. But this is the actual songbird statue, which sits on a rocky plain, and it's over a crushed, destroyed George Washington statue. Now the wing, or at least what I believe to be, the wingspan is... I don't know but the wings are detachable it's a very detailed statue for 9.75 inches so yeah this will be going on the statue shelf and you can tell they were really detailed about what they were doing just by the box that the statue came in by itself so yeah I'm kind of a low-key box freak <coughs> So, that might have sounded weird. That's the songbird box. And, uh, probably should have had this one ready beforehand. This is the box that everything came in. You know, pretty much just the cover and all the details. So I won't go into much about that. But so apparently if you pre or if you bought the season pass tonight or I don't know how long the deal is, it's called the early bird special and <laughs> old person reference. Early bird special and what it basically did is you bought the season pass, it took twenty dollars off of the purchase of a guy. So if you bought the regular guide, you got you only paid like one dollar because of tax. But I had to go get the collector's edition, and the collector's edition, first off, it came with this styrofoam filling. Well, the inside styrofoam at least, and it runs you down what comes with the collector's edition guide. Uh, Drop something. Uh, another key, the bird's cage keychain. It's pretty cool. A board game card for the enraged songbird, and I'm kind of hoping that there is a board game or is something like that. I don't know. And finally, the actual guide itself. So, yeah, I'm probably going to try to do a live stream tonight. So, if you want to get up on me with that, I just, know my, I just noticed my glasses are cricket because the headphones. But, anyways, if you want to get on that with me, please check me out on Twitch. Just uh, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook subscribe to me on here like my videos on here follow uh, follow favorite if you're into all that share the video do what you gotta do get the word out about good videos I thank you for watching and come back another time peace